What is the beginning letter game? Click the beginning letter of the word in the box. It's letter D. Correct. Is it letter... Uh-oh. Try again. It's letter C. Correct. Hi. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make an interactive PowerPoint that your students can actually enjoy. They can click on it and discover correct and wrong answers. If you are interested, just keep on watching. And so, right now, I'm here in my Microsoft PowerPoint and I have already prepared four slides. Actually, five slides already for my pre-downloaded images from my browser. So, I have four slides ready and the first slide will be the title of the game. The second one will be the first item question. The third one, I can put there the text correct answer. And then for the fourth slide, I can put on the try again text. So if the students got the correct answer, the third slide will then appear. Yet, if the student weren't able to get the right answer, the fourth slide will also appear right here. So let's start off by encoding the name or the title of the game that we are going to have. Let's say what is the beginning letter game. Okay, so you just need to adjust and personalize the layout of your text in here. So you need to adjust the text, the font size, as well as the kind of color you wanted to use. So that's it. Right after, you can proceed by inserting word out of choice for your click to start text box. So right here, you can choose whatever size or font size you like. The shape field, you can change the color. The outline weight, you can also change it into thicker ones. And of course, you can always change the shape fill of your text right here so with the outline weight you can make it a little bit thicker or thinner or anything that you wanted to change in this setup right after that you can now proceed to the second slide which is where you can put your first item question or first item image so you can type right here click in the for example, click in the beginning letter of the word that is in the box. So you can just write like that or anything that you wanted to ask in this item. And then you have to put that image that you wanted to show for the kids for them to be able to identify what's in the box. Then you have there your pre-downloaded images already and then you can just copy and paste it right in the box adjust everything you can also do um different style for younger learners like kindergarten maybe you can just write words in there so that the kids would be able to identify that um letter right away so it could be easier for them to get the right answer by matching the letter of choice to the word itself and if your students are a little bit you know bigger or they're already in a higher level of course you can just change that one into a little bit challenging ones so for the answer options you can always go to the word art and choose the right shape fill of your letters and then the right color of course you do with your outline as well Always make sure that all the choices would be very visible to the students for them to be able to identify the correct answer right away. So that's it. You can um, now copy and paste the same box for um, the rest of the options right there. And then adjust that one. Make sure that those boxes will be similar as to their shape and as to their color, as to the sizes of the letters, and of course, as to the distance of the boxes. Make sure that 
it is properly arranged right there. And of course, it will be very visible for the students to identify the correct answers. And now we're done with item number one on our second slide. Now let us then proceed to the next slide, which is the third one. So with the third slide, we're going to place a word art right here with the text correct and then adjust that text right there and uh, grab the image that you've prepared for that and just copy and paste it right there you can also use GIF for a more exciting image for the kids okay so adjust everything in that slide when it's done just proceed to the next slide again copy and paste your image to the fourth slide and then adjust that image together with the same word art that you've copied from slide number three and change that word into try again adjust and then that's it and now let's go back to our first slide just click that word art click the start and then move to insert settings then to action settings scroll down look for hyperlink to slide okay and then when you click the slide option just click slide number two and it will lead you to the first item that we have right after clicking ok it will lead you back to the action settings so right there you can see options like play sound you can choose the sound you like and then click ok now let us try it we will click to start and there you go it leads us to the first slide or to the first item that we have in slide number two right in this slide you can see the correct answer letter d now let us also put hyperlink to to the answer or to the correct answer for this item so the same manner we will click insert and go to action setting then proceed to hyperlink to click slide and then move your slide to number three or you can see the correct answer option right after clicking ok it will lead you back to the action setting just click play sound and choose the right sound you like for the slide choose a plus for the correct answer once he chooses the correct answer it will lead him to the correct answer slide likewise we should also put hyperlink to those wrong answers so just click enter it move to action settings then the same manner do hyperlink to slides and then click slide number four that will lead you to the try again slide then if you click ok it will lead you to the play sound again then choose the sound you wanted for example i choose this as my answer it will lead me to the try again slide number four now if i choose letter d for the correct answer this slide will appear right after it is so easy right well all you need to do is just put all these letters with the try again options the same hyperlink to that will lead you to the try again slide just like this click insert then go to action setting click hyperlink to show slide number four click ok and then it will lead you to the action setting and then choose the right sound for that and so when everything is done right here and the students were able to get the right answer the third slide will then appear just like so and it's about time that you're gonna put another hyperlink to the correct word art slide that will lead you down to the next number item just like so for example this is the next number item i'm gonna change the image into a cat just copy and paste the cat image and proceed to change the letter of choices just like so therefore if they click the correct answer letter d correct slide will then appear 
and vice versa. If they click back the correct box, it will lead them to the next number item. And now let's give it a try. Click to start, then it will lead you to the first number item. Once I click the wrong answer, try again slide will then appear. And to get back to the same slide, you need to put hyperlink to to the try again slide just like so. Using the same process, just move on to the action setting, click hyperlink to, scroll down to slide, choose slide number two, click OK, click play sound option, click OK again, and then it will lead you back to the same number item. In the same way, once I click letter D, which is the correct answer, correct slide will then appear. And then once I click correct, it will lead me to the next number item, just like so. And that's all for today's interactive PowerPoint tutorial. Don't forget to share and like for more upcoming videos every week. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.